Dennis, what type of business do you run? Uh, asked me a customs officer upon my arrival one week ago, and I said, you know, we do these great productivity products like Scanner Pro. And he says, oh, Scanner Pro? Gets his iPhone out and shows me a Scanner Pro icon on his home screen and says, great software, sir. Welcome to Britain. Isn't it fascinating? I wish I knew 40 million other stories of people who use our products. This is Craig Federini last year at Apple's developer conference speaking about the future of iPads and business. And um, Apple has chosen not one, but two products, our products, out of millions of others on the App Store uh, to showcase their new platform. That once again proves that small and capable teams can compete globally with anyone. That was the notion towards the competition. I guess the secret is making a great product. A secret of being successful is making a great product that people will actually love and use. And now we're just about to get into even much bigger competition, much more challenging space, which I'm just about to tell you in a second. But first, let me tell, me that, let me tell you who we are and wh why we can do that. Uh, so Riedel is a company who builds great productivity software on the App Store. I know there are a few financial guys who like numbers in this audience, so this slide is for you. The only slide with numbers. We've got eight apps across the, plat across, uh, the App Store, all are in top charts. We've got 40 million users worldwide, mostly in US and EU. Uh, eight million monthly active users, and those are very high quality users. Uh, and 85 people in the team across, uh, we have office, uh, main office is in Odessa, Ukraine, and San Francisco. And yes, we are bootstrapped, never raised any capital, um, good margins, good revenues, and year over year growth. One of the reasons why we've been quite successful was our ability to find a real life problem and come up with a great solution for that. This is our portfolio of apps. You probably knew, know or heard some of them. Uh, they are featured by Apple. They are pre-installed on uh, demo devices in Apple retail store. Uh, but most importantly, they are loved by millions of our users. And essentially, with our business, we target the same type of user who wants to do more with their devices and uh, willing to pay for that. So I guess you guys will be like the perfect example of kind of user that we have. Uh, so, and you ask me, Dennis, how do you make money? You bootstrap, never raise capital. Well, you know, old fashioned way. We create a great product and we charge for it um, on the App Store. And this is a slide that I took uh, a few years ago when seven hour products were in top charts on, on the App Store. And guys, this is productivity apps. We are not games. And uh, I would love to think of myself as king.com of productivity. And um, so our apps cost anywhere between three to $10. And uh, sometimes we run big promotions with Apple, like today. Uh, Apple has chosen our PDF expert that cost $10 to be app of the week worldwide. And uh, that when it goes free. So that means a global promotion from Apple. And uh, this week alone, I expect three to four million users worldwide. And so what about the future? We've built this great foundation. We've built this good business with um, revenues, margins, great team. So what do we do next? How do we scale? Because we want to scale 10 times, 20 times, 30 times. And what's most important lesson that we've learned was this knowledge and experience of we know how people do things on their mobile devices. We know how they work. So we want to bring, was this like, we created this, this huge platform and uh, we are able to tap into much bigger problems in tech and we want to solve bigger problems. And I believe that that's why we are the right guys to do that. So we want to build the future of work. Why future of work? Uh, because it's, it's, it's a very competitive market and it's, we want to people to, to do more and we want people to be more productive. If we think about how people work, it's about communication, collaboration, and connecting. But wait, is there something that out there that does this? And yes, there is something that, that I personally don't like as an experience. It's called email. So we are starting to build the future of our work from the email perspective. That's why we came up with Spark. Spark is a smart email client 
that fixes what's broken in your email experience. Say you got hundreds of messages, and Spark has this smart inbox that only shows what's important in your, in your email. Or I believe search is broken. So we came up with better search. Uh, so you can search in human language. So I can search for that email from Marco uh, two weeks ago with PDF attachments, and I get it like this. And Spark connects and integrates with all the third-party services and um, becomes like a hub for getting things done. So this is what people said about Spark. TechCrunch, it's finally become my default email client. Lifehacker, Spark is a new email app that does a lot right. And The Verge, Spark for iPhone is fast, smart, uh, smart way to manage your email. So we've launched a few months ago. We've got hundreds of thousands of users. And what we've learned again is that the main value of um, future of work lies where people work together in a team and when they collaborate and communicate. So we want to build this future of work, as I said, from email perspective. And talking about competition again, you would think, oh, these guys must be competing with Apple email or Google's Gmail or Microsoft's Outlook. But no, we're taking it. We see in Spark as a platform that, um, that builds on top of email. So there are a few other guys who are doing, doing, working in this direction. Say Slack works from messaging perspectives. Keep works from documents perspective. And Spark works from email. So what's interesting about email, because it's the ecosystem that's already there. It's over 1 billion people working there. So we don't have to build something new one. So our goal and my goal is to fix that and make it more effective and even better. So I would love, while I'm here, to actually talk to as many of you guys and uh, hear your pains and your, and your, like, how do you work and what do you want to get in the future. So please talk to me while I'm here. Reach me out. And thank you very much.